also bought these tiny little hinges and I was having a thought about that piece of maple that I have going across there and I was thinking that maybe I could take these hinges and get one out of the package here so I can show you what I'm thinking about so I was thinking of taking one of these and putting it I don't know, maybe, maybe about like this. Uh, I could literally put a little nail. This has some tiny nails and it would have to be very small because this thing's only about a quarter of an inch. But I could I could put this, I could actually bend it so that it fits right down in there. Put something like that here and over here. That would help to stabilize this piece here. Uh, I might. See how this glass is movable here? So I might want to put it on the table, set it with one end high, or the other end. Yeah, I can do the same. Get it on the table and get it lined up. I think what I'll do clear my table here and well I can do that with that silicone there I don't have to it doesn't have to be set where it's non movable I mean I actually have a little broom that Trish gave me the other day that was kind of broken on the end I'm going to get it because I can use it to uh, sweep this table I wonder what to do with it, but it would be just about perfect for that. Okay, let's consider this. Now, I don't think I should be hammering these nails in with a hammer. I think I should drill a little hole, and I've actually got a tool that I use on making antique banjos. I've got a tool that drives a uh, it's a model railroad spike down into a banjo neck to be used as a fifth spring capo. And the way that works is a model railroad spike looks just like a real railroad spike except it's very small. And so it has that little head that comes up and has a lip on one side and when you put one on a banjo neck you can uh, hang a string under that one side and that pulls that string down in the place where there would be a capo or where you would want to capo that fifth string. Um, in order to install those, there's a little bitty dent dentist tool drill bit that you use as a Dremel tool to install that. And this nail, it's just about long enough where it would almost touch the glass. So it really needs to go in there quite carefully on that side. So, with all that said, I'm going to go find me one of those and a Dremel tool. And then I'll come back and we will explore the options there. <laughs>